Okay, Paddy's golf tips today is going to be about how the hips work in the golf swing, the pelvis works in the golf swing. This is something I've struggled with over the years immensely, and it's only recently really come to me what they should be doing. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. <laughs> natural move and if it is good on you so what happens in the back swing well to get into a good position to load in the downswing we actually want our right hip to be higher than our left hip so when you go back I have a neutral setup some people are a little bit pressing it doesn't really matter too much where your setup is reasonably neutral okay when I go back you will see my right hip goes high like so so there's an angle there my to get that you will see my right hip goes behind me okay it's very hard to get your right hip high if you sway so if i sway like so it's very hard it goes up a little bit but it's not a very powerful position we want it up this left knee goes down towards your right foot okay to get that angle here now the reason why we want that angle is at the top of the downs top of the back foot we want to pressure into the ground so look i've already got the angle to pressure into the ground if you, uh, if you don't get that angle at the top, watch what happens. So if I don't get that angle at the top, okay, so say I'm neutral, so I'm here, okay, I'm gonna have to create the angle to pressurize. Watch, the dreaded, the right hip will come high, which is that move we never want where that right hip comes out towards the ball. So to get ground pressure, if my hips are even at the top of my backswing, I'm gonna have to come up create ground pressure whereas the best place to have your hips at the top of the back is set with that angle so that you can see I can push into the ground on my left side now once I push in you can see there's a good angle there immediately I start unloading this angle as much as I can and when they're square it should be level like so and as I come in to hit I'm trying to get this as high above this right hip so I'm trying to tuck this right right cheek under right hip under my left side okay so again you can see this angle here now the right knee is obviously going to push down look I can keep I can get my heel off the ground that's not the problem as long as my right knee is pushing down under I'm getting this height here and that's very important if you want power you want to drop in here this extends up so this left side is going to be at impact Right, we've got that angle, we push into our left side, then we start extending, and straight away we're extending this down, this hip pressurizing under, which is push, pushing this hip up. So by the time we come to impact, this is straight up here, extended, this is here, and you can see this angle. You don't try and open your hips in the golf swing, they respond. You're actually, even though you're meant to have X factor and separation, it is shown for power you do not ever lead with your your hips lead but you don't try and make them lead so somebody who gets to the top of the backswing and turns their hips they'll have no connection it's no use and a lot of people if you try and turn your hips like left what look watch what happens if i try and turn my lift, hips left my right hip comes out which we never want that that's getting in the way you're going to be blocked out so what we want to actually do is we want to try and push our right hip under our left like so and you can see that makes that extend up and you can see how open I've got by trying to extend up with my left leg and my left side that makes it go open I didn't try and turn that way I tried to it's more that push pull I tried to pull up which gets that hip high this below now as regards the pelvis yes you actually do need a pelvic thrust in the golfer so the worst thing, and a lot of decent players will know this, the worst move in golf is the pelvis coming out towards the golf ball. So if I did that there, the worst move in golf would be this. 
right? The pelvis getting close to the butt. Well, the pelvis does need to trust. It just needs to trust at the right time. So people who do this, generally, they're trying to turn. And you can see if I try and turn, this comes out and high. Whereas if I try and stretch up and down, this actually opens up, this gets high, and it gives me room to hit the ball. Okay, my heel is off the ground, but my knee, it's not. So my knee is never, when my heel comes up, it doesn't come up that way, it comes up that way. Okay, so the knee has gone in, which pushes that hip up and open. The pelvis though, for extra power, you will want that pushing of your backside underneath. So your pelvis is gonna go this way to impact. So essentially, when you push down, it goes under. Now we're in position. So we've gone, do it this way. We've gone here, we're square. Now it's starting to push up. You can see them, and probably the whole time, but you should feel it about this thing. Then this is coming up. So it's kind of coming up in this direction. You're never going to get it over here. It's definitely not coming that way. So we're down, as it stretches up, everything squeezes under. You can see I'm using my glutes underneath there to give it the last bit of hit, okay? Kind of on that angle there, okay? So that's always got by that left hip getting high. It gets behind you like so, so it's that way. The right side is the one that stays down and gives the hit like that. So you have quite a bit of side bend here. And then the pelvis, as you can see, and if you really get it right, if you really want to have that power move, as you come into impact, they will lock dust before impact. So you'll see the big hitter get a little rebound effect just about where they're hitting the golf ball. I am I get it up here. I'm not quite young and supple, but the kids get it just before impact. So it's down, this stretches up, and then the pelvis gives it a hit. Right, well, it's, it is actually moving that way all the way through the downswing, but you'll feel the sort of locking up at impact, and that will give the most energy and acceleration to the, the golf ball further away or the club head, which is the furthest point away from it. So, that's pretty all there is to hips get the, as much hip tilt as you can at the backswing by getting your hip behind you, get as much and as quick get the hip tilt in the downswing, and that should follow with a bit of a squeeze in here, a bit of a squeeze back here, which pushes through like so, but we never want to just turn, because if you turn, that's coming out and it's no use to you. It's that way. Okay, that's all there is to hip turn.